sensitivity, but he's lacking the courage or the confidence to follow through. You know, I've never said I love you to anybody. So in, in, a, in an interesting way, in a weird way, they all have different qualities about them that the other doesn't have. I've never been to any of these towns, so I think it's going to be, you know, a little taste of who they are and, you know, what I can expect if I choose them for a relationship or just for the final date. When we return... This is the last time we have to spend together. The first of the crucial final hometown dates. I want it to be really special. Jim and Larissa travel to Arizona and stop at his apartment. There's this blow-up doll up on the cabinets. Is it a night of tension? Just waiting for his personality to show up a little bit more. Or romance? Is Jim too much competition? He looks pretty darn good without a shirt on. For the last remaining Average Joe. We're down to three guys now, so today is really my last opportunity to really make a big impression on her as far as just putting everything together. You know, where I live from Hawaii to here is a big difference, so I really want today to go well. I want it to be really special. Hey, you. How are you doing? Good. Good to see you. I really want to find more out about Jim and still kind of dealing with the thing that he's a little quiet and just waiting for his personality to show up a little bit more. I thought we'd start out maybe with a little little mountain bike ride around the park here. Cool. Do so you want to do that? Yeah. Okay. It's been a while since I've been on a bike, but... Yeah. Well, we got a, we got a helmet, so we'll be safe. Okay, good. to steer this thing, huh? Wow. Okay, how do you change gears to get up this thing? You can get a lower gear. I think I'm in the lowest gear, right? Uh, I think you're on the highest one on that side. That's the highest? It was really nice that Jim was willing to help when I was kind of falling off the bike. He was really supportive, just trying to make sure that I was okay and that I was getting figuring things out. I'm getting hot. Wow. Yeah. It'd be nice if they could move Scott so closer to the ocean. I thought it was really cool that she was willing to do this. You know, it was 110 degrees outside. Sun's being down and everybody's sweating. You done? I'm good. Should we go find the thing before it gets too hot? Probably should, actually. Yeah, let's do that. We came up to the cliff, you know, we, we looked up and it looked like it was pretty high, you know, so we, we got all the way up to the top and we met the guys from White Knuckle Adventures up there, you know, the guys that were going to help us do the rappelling and they gave us a little safety briefing. Oh, boy. Okay, so are we actually doing this? Are you serious? I was standing up there. We're starting the, the descent, and Jim's like, oh, look back there. Look how far down it is. And of course I looked, and then I panicked. <laughs> Mommy. Jeez. It's kind of a little scary at first when you're leaning back and you're not quite trusting the rope. The guy said it could hold a Volkswagen, but it was pretty thin rope. We just stopped on the little ledge there, and we looked out over the valley. And we kissed a little bit. It was a kind of special moment, you know, we were up on the mountain. It was nice. Jim was getting really sweaty, and I have to say, he looked pretty darn good without a shirt on going down. I mean, it was pretty sexy. So what do you like to do out here? I spend a lot of time with my dog, you know, when I'm not working. Mm -hmm. And we walk around. Sometimes I take him to the lake. Jim was like stroking my hair and he definitely knows how to be affectionate, but it's, he doesn't know how to bring on the conversation as much. There's a lot of silences, there's a lot of pauses. So where do you fly around? So we just fly all over the place. I mean, I, obviously I like somebody that makes me feel good and he, he knows how to make the right moves. But it's like you need to have more of a complete picture, I think. So you live with any roommates? Yeah, yeah. all right. After we got off the mountain, Jim took me back to his apartment to show me where he lives. Definitely bachelor pad. Yeah. I guess I was disappointed going into the apartment. Jim is like in desperate need of a girlfriend who's gonna go in there, clean that place up, dust it off, just vacuum it up, and just get some potpourri going because it needs a little help. Nice wall decoration. Looking in the kitchen, there's this blow-up doll up on the cabinets. It was just definitely a guy's place. This is my room, I'm sorry. Hey, buddy. First thing I would do is probably give the dog a bath because it does smell, it is shedding. Yeah. This is Jake. 
Jake, let's go for a walk. It was important for Larissa to see where I live and kind of see my daily routine, you know, where I go, what I do. <laughs> Wanted to meet my dog, that was kind of an important thing. You know, he told me he really likes her, so that's good. He's pretty crazy, huh? Yeah. It's funny, because he's exactly opposite from you. What? <laughs> Owners usually have pets that are like the owner, and I was like, well, it's kind of weird because Jake is completely different from you. He never barks. He never barks. See, he's kind of like me because he's quiet. Yeah, he is kind of quiet, I yeah. guess. He's ripping on me right now, I can't stop. I'm just teasing. Okay. Is that bad? No. After we left my apartment, you know, I wanted to take Larissa to a, a really beautiful place in Scottsdale. We went to the Arizona Biltmore Resort. It was pretty romantic, it was nice. Us. Yes. It's a great day. I think I built him up to have this mystery and have more going on, and I keep wanting to believe that, and I keep wanting to believe that there's more to him. So what's your favorite book? My favorite book? I really don't read books. What's the last one you read? I have no idea. Jim just doesn't get in depth about things a whole lot. He just doesn't have a whole lot to say. that way. Oh, it is. The tone of the conversation kind of changed a little bit. I can tell that she's kind of trying to find out exactly how I'm feeling because this is the last time we have to spend together before the final elimination. I think it'd be great if you just stayed here. With your blog, Tom? <laughs> should we go find our villa? Yes, we should. I came in tonight with some serious questions about Jim. And honestly, I admit it. I can't help but just get caught up in the moment with him. What's up? Nothing, just thinking. What? I don't know, I'm just... Can you see us, like, in a relationship for a long time? I mean, really? I really can. Yeah. yeah. I definitely think that things could work between us very well. You know, it would... Why? Because of the chemistry and because of the... What is the chemistry? I don't know, it's just been there since we met. You think it's physical? I think it was at first, you know, when... I had to ask the questions. I had to make him open up, and I had to challenge him to see if he's strong enough to handle some of the things that I had to say and some of my fears and my insecurities about the whole relationship that could be. Okay, so realistically thinking about a relationship after this whole thing would be like, I'm like, what would that be like? What would we do? Because you, you can't just ask me all these questions. I can't? Right? You're going to like me for me or you're not. And I'm affectionate. I'm... I like you. And... That's important to me to that you know that. I came here to be myself. That's who I was, and she's gonna like me or not like me. Obviously, I wanted to pick me because uh, I'm crazy about her. This is like the last date before I really have to make that final decision, and there's a lot of weight on my shoulders to to say, okay, am I looking at Jim because of how he looks? Is he looking at me because of how I look, or is there gonna be something more? This is gonna be a rough elimination. It's a very dramatic night for me. I have to make my final choice. I want Larissa to choose me because I think that from the beginning we've had chemistry. I would like to pursue this after it's over and I really hope she chooses me. I had a total crush on Jim and I kept trying to build him up in my mind, I think, to be more complicated than he really is. You've been here since the very beginning, and here we are at the very end. What can I say? I feel like there's this magnet that draws me toward you. It's like no matter where we are, we're on our own private beach, and nothing else matters. Which is what makes it really hard for me tonight.